You're doing something innovative uh, tonight. What exactly is that? Well, we're trying. You know, the last couple of elections, what we've done is we have a website called uh, electionstn.gov that people can go to and get live up to the minute election results. And we started this, I guess, the 2010 election and really continue to tweak it each and every time. But now people are going to be able to go to our website tonight and, and go to the respective office, whether it's president, state senate, state house. They can also look by county. They can even click here to see what how many precincts were, have reported in each of those counties and be able to get live up to the minute races on the, the results around the state. After I first took office, one of the things I thought was interesting was we collect all this elections data, but there was no centralized place for people to go and get this. It really comes down to the fact that we have a great division of publications and a group of elections officials here in the Division of Elections who have partnered with the Department of Finance Administration Division of OIR and they've come together and helped us, along with our IT people, to be able to create a system at very low cost, but still very quick and very nimble, very efficient to be able to give people the results they want. Well, we're, not, we're never going to be able to read everybody's minds, and we can't get the results before they come in. But, you know, I think tonight what we're going to be trying to do is doing some additional mapping. So I'm sure there will be tweaking of that if we don't, if it doesn't go perfectly this evening. We're also, one of the things you'll see this evening for the first time is when people had complaints and want to know the percentages of votes and be able to look look at percentages instead of just raw vote numbers. So that's, some, that's an improvement we're making this evening. And we also tie this into our use of Twitter in the department. And so we have several different Twitter handles or accounts, I call them handles, that people will be able to follow all night long and be able to follow the results that just come through like that. And we have a group of people who are responsible for tweeting certain races. They log in and they tweet the results of those races as they come in. Will you be live tweeting tonight? I am. I am, and it's tough to keep up with. Last time, my phone and my my iPad and my desktop were all, my desktop wasn't about to die, but the iPad and the iPhone were having trouble keeping up, or maybe I was having trouble keeping up, but the batteries were getting run down. I do. People will, will email me or tweet, or send me a message on Twitter throughout the evening, you know, asking me different questions about different races that maybe they haven't been able to find. It's a lot of data that comes at people very quickly, but if you're a political junkie in Tennessee, it's a dream come true to be able to get those kind of results that quickly.